Hi there, I have a project that I've created in Unity 2019 and it's to keep the tractor going. The first series of videos on both that I did was using this project and I want to convert it to Unity 2021 to use visual scripting. So I decided to record a tutorial of the process that I'm going to have to go through to make this conversion. Here I have the keep the tractor going project. So right here where we have 2019, you can switch to the version that you want to actually migrate the project to. So I'm going to use 2021. But before you attempt this conversion, make sure you duplicate the project. I usually create a zip of the project before I do the conversion. So you can do the same thing. Open with 2021. Change version. We get a pop up saying that a different version was used and the project needs to be re-imported. I'm just going to click continue and that's going to start the conversion process. The import is done and right away I get this bolt setup wizard and this is because I use bolt for my project so the package is still in here but in Unity 2021 it was switched to visual scripting so what you want to do is go to assets folder and remove the bolt folders. One of the folders is install bolt so let's delete that and the second folder is ludic so remove that as well. I get this error that some assets could not be deleted. So what I'm going to try is close the project and open the asset folder in the finder and delete it from here. If you want, you can delete those two folders before you start the migration. That way you'll save some time from doing extra steps and we can launch the project again. I get this pop up saying, do you want to enter in safe mode because there's some compile errors. Since I know that I caused those compilers, I'm just going to click ignore and the project opens up. So in assets, you can still find the folder here and it's because I have not removed the metadata. So you can remove the folder now, but there's some errors that we're getting and it is in the Unity add listener because I implemented ads in this game. So we're going to fix that. But first, let's go and fix these scripts that I have. So currently they have missing scripts. To fix that, we can go to project settings and you can see that I don't have visual scripting imported here. So what we're going to do is go to package manager, Unity registers and look for visual scripting. So it's right here. The reason why the visual scripting is not imported is because we've created this project in 2019. So let's install this package. The package is done installing and we can close the project, open it up again, ignore. And now we can see visual scripting is in our package. So now in visual scripting, we want to run the fix missing scripts. And this is going to convert all the graphs from Bolt to use visual scripting. So let's replace reference, click OK. Again, you want to close the project and start it back up. And now you can see that graphs are recognized. You can open any of the graphs as going to analyze your code base and create all the necessary units for visual scripting. So here is the graph. Everything looks good. And now let's go to console and check for errors. So the two errors that I have is from my Unity add listener. And both of them are because I'm trying to get the libraries from Bolt. So let's go to that file. And right here we see the cause of the problem. So it's a quick fix here. So instead of using these two libraries, what you want to do is switch to using Unity Visual Scripting because everything was migrated there. And once you switch that, all of the classes and everything are the same as they were before. So we can save the file and we shouldn't see those errors anymore. So if you're using any custom scripts that access some of the Bolt libraries, make sure you replace it with Unity Visual Scripting and you should be all good with that. Now let's try running the game and see if there's more changes that we need to do. And right there, I can see that not everything in the game is working. And this most likely is going to be the case for you as well. And you'll have to go through the scripts that you have and see if there is some visible errors that you can find. I'm going to go through some of my scripts right now and see if I can find some of those errors. A good place where to start is take a look at the console. I get some warnings from the joystick button and it's saying that I have a missing script. So I'll have to fix that. 
But let's take a look at some errors that you might have as well, similar as I have. So if I select flower and go to edit, you can see that I have an error right here. So there's a random range and it looks like there's some renaming that was done. It used to be called max, but now it's called minimum and maximum inclusive. And so because of the key change that created a problem and we can actually reconnect it to that one. That should fix this issue, but because of that key change, you can see that all of the values for this range inclusive is set to zero because the previous values were lost. So that is where you could take a look at your previous project, what values you had set here and replace them. So that is exactly what I did. I unzipped the project that I previously copied for backup and Instead of migrating this project, I opened with Unity 2019. So I have the 2019 version open right here and everything is actually working pretty good. So let's check for some differences. If I go to the canvas and find that joystick button, you can see that they have the Unity Messenger listener script that was used for joystick button. And that is one of the errors that I have here, this missing script. So let's see if we can fix it. So I think it's just, you have to remove it and now it works. Now for our flower, we can look at the numbers that we had. And right here I have parallel values that I had before and the new values. You can quickly copy those values back in and continue looking at your scripts. So that looks all good. Add is actually deprecated. You want to replace it with a new one, but I think it still should work. For trees, we can see what's going on here. We have max range, minimum, and maximum. And the previous version for our trees, we had minimum of negative five, five, and minimum range of two and five. So negative five, five, two, and five. Okay, so let's try it out and see if that actually fixes it. Now the trees are fixed, so they're actually spaced out correctly. We don't have any more errors, so everything seems like it's working fine. So in this project, the only problems that I had was the custom script that I was using for ads. And that is a pretty easy fix. You just have to change the libraries to use Unity Visual Scripting instead of Bolt. And the other issue was the random range. The renaming of those keys actually erased those values. So I had to re-enter those values. Other changes that were done, the deprecation of ad, it didn't really break the game or the switch of branch to if that also didn't break because it was just a name change. If you found the video helpful, click on the like button and I'll see you in the next one.